Hey people, uh, Aman here. So given the current situation of the world, uh, vaccines are going on obviously in India. Uh, above 18 vaccines are already up. But the problem that we all have been facing is that you can register, but you cannot find a slot open for the vaccine. And every single time you have to check for that, you have to register, like you have to log in again through the OTP. And we all know how the OTP system went on last time. And you have to check for slot again and again. So I was initially planning of uh, planning to make a Python program. And I was supposed to teach how the Python program would work to figure out the vaccination slots and everything. But then I figured that I could directly use the API and I could directly show it to you guys about how it works. And it's actually more easier to uh, like, you know, show how it works. Okay, so let's get into that. Before that, I just have a small announcement to make. We have our own Telegram channel, East Early Telegram channel. So we have, you know, technology stuff, apps, and you know, general news and all that stuff. So once again, make sure you uh, like uh, register on the Telegram channel. If you have a Telegram account, the link will be in the description. Every other links which we use will also be in the uh, description. So let's just get started. Okay, so for this, uh, you will need a browser, obviously, and internet. Okay, and the first thing that you're going to need is in your Chrome browser or Brave browser, whatever browser you use, you need to download this extension, JSON formatter. Now, if you do not have this extension, the data is not going to make sense and you're going to have a really tough time, uh, you know, figuring out what is what. So make sure you get this extension link is in the description. Okay, next. Uh, there are some APIs provided by the government, by the Indian government, and we will be using those APIs to figure out uh, the data. Like we'll be figuring out what vaccination slots are open, what vaccines are provided, what is the current limit of the vaccine, like, you know, what's uh, the amount of people they can handle and all that stuff. So this is the URL. It's apica2.gov.in slash public slash API slash COVID. Okay. So once again, once you uh, show up on this page, there's a lot of stuff. It might uh, be overwhelming Do not get over once again. It's like super easy stuff. And API is basically, uh, it's like you are making a request to a specific application and you are getting a response back. That's all an API is if you think about it. So uh, for this API, what we'll be doing is uh, that, uh, let's just start with the states or the API. Okay, it just makes more sense. So we'll go to this API and we'll, you have to click on try it out. So you'll get a link. If you click on execute, this is the link that you get. So if you copy this link and then you open up a new tab, paste it and enter, you get a list of all these states. Okay. This is the, like all the states that we have in, uh, India plus the union territories. And, uh, if you do not have the JSON formatter, this is how the data will look and it's messy. So JSON formatter obviously makes things really easy for you. And you can also like, you know, do this, which is easier. So I'll just focus on Gujarat because I live in Gujarat. So we'll see the state ID for Gujarat is 11. So we'll just remember that. We'll come back here. Uh, we found the states. Now we need the districts, all the districts available in that state. So we'll just click on try and then we'll click on execute so we can get this link so this is our request url we're gonna copy open a new tab and enter now obviously this is for state id 16 uh what was state id 16 that is karnataka we don't need it for karnataka i'm gonna search for gujarat so that would be 11. uh guys make sure that you are changing this the last uh, part of the url i'm gonna hit enter and now we have all the districts present in Gujarat. Okay. Now we have Ahmedabad, Ahmedabad Corporation, Amreli Anand and so on. Let's try for Ahmedabad. Okay. So now you have to focus on district ID because this stuff, this is more important. So this is what we'll be using in the next API. Okay. So it's district ID 154. Now there are, okay, <laughs> let's not get ahead of ourselves. Uh, okay. Now if you show up, there are some options. So it, it says find by district and then there is calendar by district. Now calendar by district just gives you, you know, the vaccination sessions by district for seven days. Now you can either go with that or you can just go by like, you know, find by district. Uh, you're going to click on try out uh, and you're going to click on execute. 
also there's stuff here you can edit it from here if you want but i just find that the url is super easy copy and then paste now this uh, is for uh, 5 and 2 i don't know what district that is uh, i think that's for uh, district alwar in rajasthan yeah okay so obviously we're gonna change the district id so let's see what was the district id for ahmedabad 154 so we're gonna change this to 154 and we're gonna also change the date obviously so today's date when i'm recording this it's 8th may so i'm gonna change that may is the fifth month and enter so this is what you get you get all the information for Ahmedabad area so now okay this might look really like you know oh my god what is this why are there so many stuff so that is why we uh, use json formatter so sessions here just means that it's different places in Ahmedabad where you can get the vaccine okay so for example this might be the first place uh, then this might be the second place and so on and so forth so these are sessions so what you can do is you can you know try to combine them uh, like you know uh, sorry collapse them in like this and it might be easier now if let's say you want to find a specific place and uh, like how would you like go through this data once again it's like super easy you, you just do uh, control f and you just search for whatever station you like whatever center you want so that's how it works also let's now try to understand the information given inside okay so the first center id uh, it's an id they have i don't know why it's nothing it's not of use to us the name of the station the address state name gujarat obviously a district name ahmedabad block name bawla pin code is given now if you notice here you can also search by pin code okay find by pin uh, if uh, we'll just go through that if that is what you are into go ahead it's super easy you just have to change the pin code if you don't want to do the pin wala thing okay so you can just come here i'll just try for my pin code and i'll just change the date to today in my experience the pin code thing sometimes works sometimes doesn't so just go through the district thing it's much more easier and it gives you consistent results okay so where where were we yeah so pin code it shows you the pin code it shows you the time so it's morning 9 to evening 5 it gives you latitude and longitude i think that's really approximate uh, uh, it gives you a fee type if the vaccine costs anything it's free uh, there's the date session id once again we have it's not of use to us available capacity that is 46 fee is zero obviously it's uh, free uh, minimum age limit is 45 so now if you want to search it for like you know above uh, 18 one thing you can just do is just put 18 here and obviously it will give you the like you know the time 18 sometimes but i think it's easier to just pass through this and just check where's the minimum age limit and uh, apparently there isn't huh apparently we don't have above 18 uh, vaccines at this point but see that this is why we are searching okay so you can do the same thing and uh, you can do it for any other district you want and yeah that's it you just have this information now the calendar thing you can obviously do that as well let's do calendar by pen we're gonna try it out and we're gonna execute so we have this link we're gonna copy paste oh i i think i did it calendar by pen code let's do calendar by district try it out execute here we have our link we open up a new tab and uh, obviously we'll have to change uh, what was the district 154 uh, let's try Ahmedabad corporation that's 770 right 770 and let's just put in today's date so we can get like you know some idea of the future and five and enter let's see okay so we have the same thing now the thing that depends is like now you have centers instead of session and once you notice there's a session and inside that like for example there is a center and inside that there are different sessions okay so that will be different dates so for example this session uh dariapur i hope i'm pronouncing that right uh, you have the data for eight and you have the data for nine then you uh, show up for this center uh junavaraj and there's only one session apparently then you uh, show up for kendra vidyalay then you have a session for eighth and then ninth 
and so on and so forth i think it's because of saturday and sunday i might be wrong but yeah so the more you search you'll kind of figure it out so yeah basically that's it uh i hope this made sense uh, once again if you want me to make a python program for this uh, it's really not a big deal uh, apparently you just have to like you know get this data and then parse it that's it that's what this extension is doing apparently so yeah python program would just basically it will just ask you for the details and it will just you know give you the output in a really nice form that's it but you will have to run the python program on your system natively so there's that issue but yeah that's it i hope this uh, vaccination tracker thingy works for you and yeah that's it